First, I want to show you a statement made by <clears throat> Summer Day Adventist member Rush Da too, in a video where he's dealing with Mary as the mother of God, something like question four, Catholics number 12. Uh, anyway, uh, once I've shown you the statement, I will be able to show you uh, how Rush Da too is typical of many Summer Day Adventists with their ignorance and total lack of honesty. As I've often said, when honesty enters into the room, Summer Day Adventists leave. Now then, in this video, um, give you a chance to look at that again. I'll give you enough time to have read that by now. But anyway, in this video, uh, Rush Da 2, the first question is, do Catholics believe Mary is the mother of God? And then he says, and I quote, if the answer is yes, then why do they contradict themselves? End quote. He says, Catholics contradict themselves. Now, looking at that statement, Catholic contradicts themselves, coupled with the entire video that he made, what is wrong with that statement and his video? He says, Catholics contradict themselves, but Rush Da Tu never gives what the Catholic Church teaches about Mary as the mother of God. All he does is show what he thinks the Catholic Church teaches, but he never gives the position of the church. How can anyone make an honest uh, um, choice when he never shows what the Catholic Church actually teaches? It is just the dishonesty of these Seventh-day Adventist members. That's all he wanted to do is show you what he teaches. How can he say that the church contradicts itself and never gives the position of the Catholic Church so people can see whether they contradict themselves or not? It's all part of the dishonesty displayed by Rush Da Tu and the Seventh Day Adventist organization. The truth does not matter to them. That's the bottom line. The truth does not matter. They only want people to see what they want them to see so they can deceive person after person. You can see from the dishonest presentation why I call the Seventh Day Adventist uh, organization the synagogue of Satan working through the spirit of the Antichrist. Above a Bible verse in John eighteen forty four, I mean, uh, in John eight forty four reminds me of them where it says, "You are of your father the devil. Your will is to do the father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning and had nothing to do with the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks of his own character, for he is the liar and the father of lies." End quote. That is simply that describes and sums up the Seventh-day Adventist organization in one verse to me. They have nothing to do with truth. Uh, plus, actually, Rush Da 2's video points out the heretic teachings of the Seventh-day Adventist organization and shows why they have no business being called mainstream Christians. You see, the Seventh-day Adventist organization do not believe in the historical definition of the Trinity. They do not believe that God the Father and God the Son are one and the same being. So is it any wonder that the Seventh-day Adventist organization would show no respect for Mary as the mother of God whatsoever and thus dishonor the mother of Jesus? Uh, they do not believe that God the Father and God the Son are the same being. They think they're two different beings. <clears throat> I was watching a video the other day on YouTube where Doug Baxter confirmed what I've talked about, and I've got a video up showing this where Bachelor actually says that Jesus and God are not the same being. That goes totally against what the Trinity means in historical Christianity. At any rate, back to the point. <clears throat> Rush Dahl too wrongly says the church contradicts itself. As I said, he never showed the church's position. By the way, Rush Dahl too, do this for me. If you want to call yourself honest and you say you're right, show me anywhere in the writings of the Catholic Church where they ever teach Mary pre-existed before God. <clears throat> Do it, Rush Daughter. Just call your own self a liar. Look in the mirror and say you're a liar. In all the history of the Catholic Church, show me one uh, document where the Catholic Church has ever said Mary pre-existed before God. If that is true, then just show us where's, where we taught that. <clears throat> the problem is, Rush Daughter too can't because the church never taught that. It's just his way of trying to deceive people again and pointing out the dishonesty of the Seventh day Adventist organization. Now, in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, I'm going to read to you uh, 509, uh, where it talks about the Catechism of the Catholic Church summarizes the teaching as follows 
Mary is truly mother of gods, since she is the mother of the eternal Son of God, made man, who is God himself. The title, Mother of God, points to the sublime truth of the Incarnation, that Jesus Christ is truly God and truly man. In 495, <clears throat> uh, called the Gospel of the Mother of Jesus, Mary is acclaimed by Elizabeth as the proper uh, as, as prompting of the, by the Spirit, even before the birth of her son, as the mother of my Lord. <clears throat> now that's what Elizabeth is calling Mary before Jesus even born, the mother of my Lord. He goes on to say, <clears throat> in fact, the one whom she conceived as man by the Holy Spirit, who truly became her son according to the flesh, was none other than the Father's eternal Son, the second person of the Holy Trinity. Hence, the Church confesses that Mary is the mother of God. At this point, you might ask, uh, why was Mary as the mother of God ever defined to start with? Well, it didn't, it didn't actually start out to define Mary as the mother of God, even though that was the byproduct of it. It all had to do with heresy that had arisen in the early church. Uh, and the church was defending the deity of Jesus Christ and the humanity of Jesus Christ. They were defending that he was fully God and that he was fully man. And in doing so, they had to end up defining Mary as the mother of God at the incarnation as well. Anyway, you know, it's amazing to me how the Catholic Church through the years has fought to preserve Christian doctrines while all that, all that time the Seventh-day Adventists were doing nothing but working to destroy the, you know, Christianity. That's exactly what they do, working to destroy Christianity. Now, this was settled at the Council of uh, Epaphus in 431 B.C., and it reputed Nestorius, the patriarch of Constantinople, who refused to honor Mary as the mother of God. He, ref he refused because he denied that Jesus Christ was both God and man. You know what I'm talking about there? The church was defending that Jesus Christ was fully God and fully man, but this heresy had arisen that the Council of Epaphus had to define in 431. Uh, Nestorius re uh, refused to, uh, uh, Mary, the title of Mary as the mother of God, because he denied that Jesus Christ was both God and man. The council therefore saw Mary's title, Mother of God, as safeguarding Christian belief uh, in the mystery of the incarnation, uh, Jesus is God and Jesus is man. And they did another one at, the, at, uh, at uh, Constantinople later. And here's one of the teachings from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. This is straight from the Catechisms. Uh, Called in the gospel, the mother of Jesus, Mary is acclaimed by Elizabeth as the prompting of the Holy Spirit, even before the birth of her son, as the mother of my Lord. In fact, the one whom she conceived as man by the Holy Spirit, who truly became her son, <clears throat> according to the flesh, was none other than, than the uh, Father's eternal son, the second person of the blessed of the Holy Trinity. Hence, the church confesses that Mary is truly mother of God, end quote. And uh, in another catechism, the title of Mother of God points to, to the sublime truth of the Incarnation that Jesus Christ is truly God and truly man. Both of those are in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. <clears throat> now then, that is what the Catholic Church is teaching. The hypostatic union uh, between God and man. That at the point of the Incarnation, Mary became the mother of God the Son. <clears throat> There's absolutely nothing in the history of the Catholic Church where the Church ever taught Mary pre-existed God. But honesty was not what Rush Datu was trying to, to show. The man is a dishonest liar and did not want to present to you the, the facts. <clears throat> All he wanted to do was present what he wanted you to see. <clears throat> the truth is, the Catholic Church, from their own writings, teach that Mary is the mother of God at the Incarnation. Because Jesus is God, Mary is the mother of Jesus, therefore she is the Son of God. That is the official teaching of the Catholic Church, at the Incarnation. <clears throat> In uh, another book called The Compact of uh, History of the Catholic Church, uh, you'll find another writing there with the Bishop of Alexander Nestorius, the died Mary could be called the, the God-bearer or the mother of God. 
He was part of a theological group uh, school at Antioch, which did not want to risk any confusion between the divine and human. <clears throat> so calling Mary the mother of God threatened to mix up God and man, since Mary did not bring God into existence, <clears throat> which is true. Mary didn't bring God into existence, God the Father into existence. However, another group called the School of Alexandria, led by the Bishop of Alexandria, saw no problem in calling Mary the mother of God, since this way of speaking safeguarded the unity of Jesus' humanity and his divine nature. <clears throat> Again, in, uh, this book, The Compact of History of the Catholic Church, talks about how this was settled at uh, the Council of Ephesus in 431. And so anyway, there, there's the bottom line. The church never taught Mary pre-existed God. They have always said that uh, Mary was the mother of God the Son, at the Incarnation, there's where she became and got the title, the Mother of God. <coughs> Rushed out too. What's so, what's so wrong with, it, with presenting the, the views of the Catholic Church? Why couldn't you have done that? You couldn't have done it because honesty is not in you. There's not an honest bone in your body. That's what it boils down to. I'll tell you something else, though, that was presented in here that Rushed out too didn't know. He makes this statement in there that points out a psychological disorder in the self of his organization uh, and it's called cognitive dissonance. And he makes a statement in there. This is where the lies of the RCC leads to one lie, then to fix the first lie, then another, then another, and so on. I'm saying the catechism use one lie to fix another. <clears throat> that is exactly what the self of his organization does in this psychological disorder they have called cognitive dissonance. And I'll be telling you a whole lot more about that in videos to come just to show you how disturbed the Seventh-day Adventist organization are and how ignorant their members really are. Thank you once again, Rush Dye, for showing the dishonesty of your entire organization and the dishonesty which lies in your nature. Until next time, this has been God is saying, God bless.